two ferocious warriors. Two bricks looking to be delivered as presents under your tree, but which Christmas combatant is stronger? Well, today we're pitting these two peppermint bricks against each other in a duel to the death. No ties, no draws, no mercy. Ow, man. Welcome to the Frick cast and to Dr. Squatch versus Sudsy Bear. Today, the calm old Saint Nick takes on the chill frosty peppermint. Now I of course have individual soap guides for both of these bricks, so check those out if you want a full breakdown of either of these bars. In this video, we're going to find out which is the better Christmas brick. Both of these are fan favorite limiteds from their respective companies, and that's for good reason. With peppermint scents and nifty ingredients, you can't go wrong with the Saint Nick brick or the Pep Boy, but we can only have one winner. So let the battle begin. Round one, fight. When it comes to ingredients, we see a similar story that we've come to expect from these matchups. The Sudsy Brick is slammed full of fantastic ingredients, while the Squatch Brick may just be doing more with less. While peppermint is the primary unique ingredient in both of these, I'd say a major difference in these bars is how they supplement that. For the old Saint Nick, we mainly have a frick ton of essential oils, such as tobacco and Fraser fir, that really shape this bar. As for the Frosty Peppermint, this bar embraces the pep mindset more, with menthol crystals being the other main ingredient of note, but being more noticeable as menthol is a very powerful ingredient. Both of these bricks are rocking with solid ingredient lists. Aside from peppermint, we're mainly looking at the very nifty menthol versus tobacco and the other oils. We'll see how they hold up in the shower, but for now it's hard not to give the slight edge to the old Saint Nick, even if it is very close. Round 1 goes to the old Saint Nick. Round two, fight! The scents of these boys are again very similar, yet very different. For the Frosty Pep, we're mainly looking at a straight up peppermint smell, like that of a peppermint candy cane. It's a noise scent, but not one of the strongest ones out there. As for the old Saint Nick, the scent is much more complex. It again starts with peppermint, but also has strong notes of tobacco and woodsiness, as well as minor notes of lemon and cinnamon. It's a complicated but great scent that smells like Santa lighting up a cigar in his cabin. It's also a bit more potent than the Frosty Pep. All of the essential oils, mainly the peppermint and sweet tobacco, give the bar a really relaxing aroma. Both scents are great in their own way, but it's again hard not to side with the old Saint Nick on this one. The scent is more layered and pleasant. For that, round two goes to the old Saint Nick. Round three, fight! When it comes to actually using the bricks, this is where the Pep Boy truly differentiates itself and has a chance to get back into the fight. While the Frosty Pep may not have the long list of ingredients the Saint Nick Brick has, it does possess an X-Factor over its adversary, Menthol. Now Menthol isn't for everyone, but it gives the Pep Boy its trademark cooling sensation where your skin feels chilled. The Frosty Pep is a zero grit brick that calms and relieves skin. On the other hand, the old Saint Nick gets some of the cooling sensation from the peppermint, but not nearly as much. However, its ingredients like tobacco, fir, birch, and lemon make it a deeply soothing one. It has a little bit of grit, not really all that noticeable, but the pumice and pep leaves do add some exfoliation to the bar. Overall, both feel great to use, better than most out there, but the Frosty Pep is a really unique bar in this area, and when it comes to a calming, chill brick, the Pep Boy and its menthol are hard to beat. Round three goes to the Frosty Peppermint. Round four, fight! Both of these bricks are of course Christmas themed limiteds, although they differ quite significantly when it comes to the vibe they are going for. For the Frosty Peppermint, it's clear Squash was going for a peppermint candy theme, and while simple, they absolutely nailed it. The peppermint candy scent, the peppermint ingredients, the chilling menthol wash, it all speaks for itself. The bar looks the part too, red with white swirls. The bar also has a bit of a chalky texture to it, so it almost looks and feels like a peppermint candy as well. And of course, the box is a unique limited design with red and white colors. Overall, there's not much else Squatch could have done to make the Pet Boy better fit its theme. As for the old Saint Nick, Sezzy Bear was going for a more Santa Claus type of theme, with maybe more so a focus on like Santa's cabin. The complex scent really drives this home, with peppermint getting you into the Christmas spirit, the sweet tobacco adding a calming aroma, and the fur giving off the feel of a Christmas tree. 
I could definitely get the vibe of Santa getting back Christmas night after slamming out presents and just sitting back by the fire and lighting up a tobacco pipe. Visually, I'm not gonna lie, this is probably one of the ugliest bricks I've seen. Sort of a disgusting array of colors, almost Frankenstein together, but that's hardly going to make or break a brick. The box is of course a limited design and features Santa Claus and Sudsy with a Santa hat, but it's overall kind of plain. Well, the scent really helps bring to life the unique theme of the Saint Nick. The Frosty Pep is able to just perfectly fit the vibe it's going for, down to the last detail, and for that, round four goes to the Frosty Peppermint. Sudden Death Fight! With both bricks tied, it's time to head to overtime. These bars are both evenly matched, and you could easily make a case for either one. So this really is just going to come down to my personal opinion and I'm going to go with the Frosty Peppermint. That may be the unpopular pick, and I wouldn't blame anyone for choosing the St. Nick brick. I think the old St. Nick has an incredible scent, better than the Frosty. It's one that's quickly becoming one of my favorites from Sudsy, and the bar's got a long list of nifty ingredients as well. However, I think the more simple design of the Pet Boy actually helps it a lot in this matchup. While it may not have the long list of ingredients, it does have menthol, which makes the bar just feel incredible to use with its chilling qualities. To me, it's also just a much more fun brick, as it looks and feels like a peppermint candy, although I would say the Old St. Nick is probably the more practical of the two. While they are, again, very similar, I think that one major difference, at least in my opinion, is the Old St. Nick seems to be more relaxing, while the Frosty Peppermint is more stimulating. So that may be something that influences your preference on these. Neither bar does anything wrong. Both fit their respective themes and both are great additions to their Christmas lineups. That's only my opinion though and I'd love to hear yours in the comments. Which bar do you think wins the battle of the peppermint bricks? Let me know if you agree or disagree with my verdict and let me know which bricks you'd like to see pitted against each other next time. As always, thanks for watching. Yeah, man.